my dear friends welcome to my channel myself gaur bharat kumar working as assistant professor in the department of csc in today's session we will discuss about uh, what is the meaning of sql3 and what are the features of sql3 compared to the sql okay now we will start with uh, the meaning of sql3 simply sql stands for structured query language actually here in the sql3 we have several benefits compared to the normal sql so that's why sql3 is a super set of sql it is also called as sql is a subset of sql3 it supports all of the constructs supported by the standard as well as adding new ones of its own that means SQL 3 supports all of the structured query languages and what are the features available in SQL 3 so that's why SQL 3 is a combination of SQL plus features of SQL 3 now so therefore whatever worked in the implementation of SQL should also work in implementation of sql3 also finally we will simply say that sql3 is a superset of sql however it should be noted that as it there are no implementation of sql3 until now okay so now we will move to the features available in sql3 so compared to the structured query languages here we have eight different types of features available so these are all of the new in sql version 3 so first one is the extended data types normally in the sql we are using the simple data types like integer character date but here we have a facility to insert the data related to audio video files images text spatial temporal geographic web pages links these are the facilities available in sql3 coming to the second feature here we have a facility to merging the suitable rows with the help of sql3 another feature is here we have a facility to write the user defined functions in this point of view we here we have two different types of user defined functions are available those are scalar functions and table valued functions coming to the fourth feature that is user defined routines so what is the difference between user defined types and user defined routines here actually the routine is a collection of program statements that perform a specific task here here in the routines we are using the um, we are using the processors as well as functions so we will discuss the brief about these all the concepts from the coming sessions no problem the fifth feature is subtypes and super types simply we say that the in inheritance inheritance means one object can acquire the all the properties of another object here the features of inheritance also possible with the sql3 coming to the sixth one here we have a facility to create the sub tables super tables like that suppose we will consider the staff table as a super table in the staff table uh, lecturer table admin table those are the sub tables of staff table here we have a facility to create the staff um, to create the sub tables and super tables next seventh feature is reference types and the object identity here we have a facility to create our own objects so for that point of view here we have a small syntaxes are available with the help of syntaxes now we will create the objects and how we will use those objects also we will discuss in the coming sessions finally the last feature is collection types here we have a different types of collections are available ordered collections Mm, unordered collections, uh, ordered collection with uh, duplicates, unordered collections without duplicates, 
unordered collection with duplicates and without duplicates these are the facilities are available in the sql3 thank you very much for your patience thank you